Hello everyone, I'm Saba and this is a follow-up on my previous video which was about modeling Beethoven concert hall designed by Zaha Hadid. For that project, I created a mass and then created adaptive components to apply on it. However, at the end, I had to select the components one by one and either change them to another panel or change their instance parameter. So I decided to benefit from Dynamo and do some automation. Since we might need to change certain percentage of panels on each surface, I start the graph with selecting the divided surface. I am using a slider to change the percentage of panels that need to be changed. Then using a random list node, I make a list of random indices within the range of the selected surface. Since there is no replace node in Dynamo, I need to create new panels in the same location as the existing ones, and then erase the existing panels. So I use a node to retrieve the location points of the existing panels. The new panels are created using the same location points. Then the existing panels will be erased by use of a custom node, because Dynamo doesn't have any uh, erase nodes. I just need to mention that random selection is done by creating a list of random numbers, which would be the indices. After randomly selecting a panel, it can be replaced by any of four existing panels, and this selection needs to be done randomly as well. So a string of random number within the range of 1 to 4 is uh, created and the replacement is selected based on the associated number using a set of conditional statements. The next step is to modify the parameters of created panels again on a random basis. Another string of random integers within the range of 1 to 4 is created to uh, drive the base vertex parameter of the new panels. The number of solid and transparent sections of each panel needs to be modified randomly as well. Since this is driven by a, a set of binary parameters, another process is used to generate random string. Briefly, if a random integer with the range of uh, 0 to 7 is written in a binary way, a string of, of 3 binary numbers is generated. This is how the graph works. The main challenge in this process is a little bit strange. When the dynamo graph is run on a surface, it works perfectly for the first time. But if the same graph is run on another surface, the newly created panel will be removed. It seems that the Dynamo remembers what it creates. The solution to this problem is to delete the node that creates the panel and place a new node there. I ran the graph on all surfaces and this is uh, what eventually created. Also after loading the mass into the project, I decided to change the color override of glasses. The challenge was the glass element was not separated from the frame when I created them in the first place. So I made a separated family for the glass and then run the graph on it. So this is how I use Dynamo to do automation in the modeling process. Thank you.